All right, well, it is day six after my surgery, and uh, it's been a couple of days since I've recorded. Uh, been feeling a little under the weather, as to be expected, but today we're going to show a clip of my bandages coming off. So uh, just a little warning, if you're a little queasy in the stomach, you might not like seeing this. We'll uh, show that clip in just a minute. Um, right now my pain is just pretty much centralized to the upper scar um, and it's pretty bad. Uh, any kind of movements of my arms above this level right here causes a, a pretty sharp pain. Um, so lifting a glass to my face, uh, brushing my teeth, brushing my hair, any of those activities um, are pretty painful. We're going to pause it real quick and I'm going to get the, uh, the controller for the unit and we'll kind of, I'll show you all what that's all about. All right, we're back. I do have uh, the two pieces of equipment that I wanted. Um, those of you that are considering getting the spinal cord stimulator, there's basically three manufacturers. Uh, there's Boston Scientific, uh, there's St. Jude, and Medtronic. Uh, a lot of times it's your doctor's preference of what they like to use, but uh, the bottom line is is that you do have a choice. Um, one of the things that I have found out is that it's very important to have a good rep. Um, whichever manufacturer your doctor decides to use, I highly recommend you ask to make contact with the rep before you schedule the surgery. Uh, they should be more than willing to meet with you um, because you are going to see this person quite often, especially if you're having issues of the coverage of the machine. They're going to need to reprogram it. Um, there was a time where I saw my rep uh, several times in one month. I have a fantastic rep um, and uh, been very blessed to have someone who is uh, so willing to help me out in any way that they can so I really recommend that you do research on the different uh, on the different manufacturers and uh, whichever manufacturer again that your doctor is choosing to use uh, make contact with uh, the local rep that will be there uh, in your surgery and also will be the one to follow up with you um, because if it's someone um, that you don't seem to hit it off with or care care for very much, um, it will affect um, it will affect you down the road. Now, the uh, this is the remote that comes with the unit that I have. Um, don't lose this. If you lose it. Uh, your insurance will not pay for it and they are about twelve hundred dollars to replace and you have the uh, ability to change the intensity and to change to the different programs you can have a tapping a sine wave type of a sensation um, and uh, so that's the, the remote um, this is the charging unit this charges through your skin. It also comes with a belt. When uh, this itself has a charger and when it's charged you turn it on and you're going to hear a beeping sound. What happens is, is you put that over your skin in the area where the battery is and uh, when this makes contact with metal, well I guess that's not working. There we go. Once it makes contact with the battery, it stops beeping, and then you know that uh, that you are getting a charge. So if you're wearing it and you start to hear it beep, you've lost contact with the battery that's under your skin. Um, I found this to be a little bit on the annoying side. If you stand up or move or whatever, you have to readjust it, um, and. Uh, 
just plan on getting into a comfortable position, sit down, watch a movie because it takes a few hours to charge. Um, depending on your use, you'll have to charge it once or twice a month. The more you use it, the more you're going to have to charge it. Um, again, my recovery is going okay. Um, you know, I'm still taking um, some pretty heavy duty medication that's going to start going down uh, in about a week's time and um, probably will be able to drive and uh, won't be able to drive for another week to 10 days. Um, but anything involving lifted my hands up is pretty painful. So, um, Again, I'll have my email address up on the screen. I would love to communicate with any of you that are considering getting the machine. Um, I have created a uh, playlist on YouTube that has all of the videos. Um, if you haven't seen the, uh, the other four, and I'm going to continue to make these as uh, often as possible as I go through the recovery process. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is bring up the clip of, of uh, my incision. So apologize for you looking at my uh, ugly hairy back. If you don't want to see it, you can just end this now. But those of you that are curious to see what, uh, what kind of scars you're going to have, here you go. Thanks again for watching. I'm Larry Fish from the Electric Fish Bowl. Close. Uh, for a couple of close shots. There you go. Mm -hmm. Focus. Let that focus. Mm -hmm. 